Want to know a secret? There's only two anchors in the 2017 Nissan Rogue, and I'm going to show you how I figured out how to fit three across the back. One booster seat behind the driver's seat, a bucket seat, and then another booster seat on the left behind the passenger side. Here's a side view. So let's get into it. We are in the back seat of the Rogue. This is the car seat base for the Graco Snug Ride. And what I'm going to do, because there are only two latches in the 2017 Nissan Rogue, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna locate one on each side. So there's one right here where this tag is, and if you feel between the cushions, you'll feel a metal bar and you're going to take one side of the latch, get this clicked onto that bar, push it until I hear it click, locate the latch on this side, which is right below this tag. And so there's a metal bar in there. I'm going to take the other latch and I'm going to click it in. Now it needs to be tightened a lot. So we need to make sure that it's level. It's right in the center right now. I'm gonna actually unclick, tighten a little bit. It needs to have a tiny bit of slack because once this bar goes down, it needs to be able to push into the center here. Can't have it super taut. So let's try this one more time. I just clicked my latch back in. Now we're gonna put the bar down, push down on this bar till you hear it click. I noticed that the bubble got a little slightly off center when I clicked this in the first time. So I increased the height on the back just a little bit where there's a button behind here that allows you to drop the back so it's more level. Okay, we are centered with the bubble. So the base looks good. It's not going anywhere. It's nice and sturdy. We are hooked into the inner latch on the driver's side back seat and the inner latch on the passenger side back seat. Got all three seats in. We can close the door. I'm going to scooch this one in so you can see that all the door is closed. When I'm buckling my older children, I have to go across with the buckle and I have to actually kind of pull the seat out a little bit in order to find where the inner buckle is, which is right there and then tighten it on them. And then I just push the seat back in. We'll do the same thing on this side. Pull the seat out at an angle a little bit. I have to kind of feel around in here, click it in. And then pull tight on that. And then I just scooch this in, make sure that the seat belt is tight enough. And voila. I did a lot of research before this, trying to find the best and narrowest car seats that were safe. Both of my kids have reached the height and weight limit in order to sit in these particular booster seats, both of which had the optional latch. If this video helped you at all, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. I'll be switching out my Graco car seat for the Evenflow 360, and I'll be linking the video to that unboxing right here. Until next time, thank you so much. Take care.